Nigerians celebrate Abakiari's death. See reactions. Many Nigerians have taken to social media to celebrate the death of Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari Abakiari. Some of the reactions from Nigerians after hearing the news of his death shows that Nigerian masses are not happy with their leader. One of the Buhari's government's critics, Adenyoju Deji, took to his Facebook page to condemn Nigerians who are celebrating the death of another man. He cautioned President Muhammad Buhari to learn from this because if he die, that is how Nigerians will celebrate. Deji said, so sad to see Nigerians celebrating Abakiari's death. He died at 80. I pray many of us live that long. This is a lesson to Buhari. May nothing bad happen to him because Nigerians will celebrate like we won the World Cup. The reason is because he has failed so woefully. Another Nigerian guy who reacted to the celebration by some Nigerians said he don't why people are happy. He said, I wonder why millions of Nigerians are jubilating over the demise of the chief of staff to the president of the country, Alhaji Abakiari. May the God Almighty forgive his shortcoming. Amin, Summa Amin. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, Nigerians, I would say there is no need for us to be happy or celebrate. Yes, he has, he has, um, he has passed out, and now it 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 now left for him to go and face his own judgment. We don't need to celebrate. We don't need to jubilate. Instead, let us still um, show that remorse of condolence. We know that he may have hurt many Nigerians in one way or the other, either by words or by action. We know it must have misled the uh, the present administration. It may have done things that may have affected the citizens so much, but that should not cause us for for um, jubilating. You know, it's not. We, we don't need to jubilate over the death of anyone because. Anytime, I used to say that anytime anyone dies, it should be a message to us that we, we too will die someday. But then we should, we should be ready and be prepared by making our path straight. The death of one man is a message to us to make our paths straight. So the death of Abakari should not call for celebration. Instead, it should be called for repentance. So the death of Abakari is a message to people in Asorok. It's a message to the Nigerian leaders and also to Nigerian at large. A message to the Nigerian leaders in Asorok in the sense that they should know that they are not the owner of their lives. The owner of their lives can come for it at any time. So why they are busy accumulating or gathering wealth, they should be thinking of death because it can come at any time. So they should be preparing their paths they should be living a, a good life because all of those wealth that they are accumulating illegally and wrongly 
will not be taken to heaven. They will leave them behind. Look at Bakiari. Yes, I know why Nigerians are happy, but we don't need it. We don't need it at all. His death is a message to us all that to the to the poor ones is still a message to them. Because one day the poor ones will will, will, will later turn to be rich. So when you are rich, it is better you try to live a holy life even while you are a rich man. It is better you don't hurt people because all of these things are what they are, uh, you will definitely face as judgment. So it's a message. It's a message to everyone and not a call for celebration. You understand? So Nigerians, let us condo have a a, a a a condolence a condolence heart for the deceased let us pray let us not celebrate let us pray that god will help us to live up to his expectation to do those things that will please him not to be like abakiari not to be selfish and greedy like our nigerian leaders and to the Nigerian leaders, this is a, a message of repentance to you. You should learn from the death of Abakari and turn a new leaf. Live a good life. The wealth you have accumulated, the, debt, the, the wealth you are taking it nowhere. You are not taking it to heaven. It will still be here on this earth. So, you have to be very, very, very careful. God is a respecter of no man. You can see, it is clear. Even with all his, all his money, he could not save himself. That is a message to you. To you leaders in Asorok. That when death comes, no matter the money that you have in your account, no matter the accumulated fund that you have accumulated illegally, no matter the stolen money, you cannot save yourself. If God said it is final, it is final. I say this for you to know that only God has the final say look at okay let's assume that all that have been said concerning abakari is true despite all the money all the donated the, all the donated money that was used to to, to fly him abroad to fly him to different country to different country Yet he was unable. He was not. He was unable to stay alive. Hmm? You can see. So um, we have to be very, very careful. We have to be very, very careful because life is um, is, is is being owned and controlled by God. Only God has the power to take life and to retain life. Personally, I want to use this medium to condole with the family of the deceased. Yes, no matter what must have happened, no matter what Abakiari must have done that has affected me and my family, I still condole with the family and i pray that um, the almighty god in his infinite mercy and love will forgive him his sins will have mercy upon him and um, grant unto him a happy repose and also to um, 
to the Nigerian leaders who are still in Asorok, I, I urge you all to learn from this and also believe that one day you too will depart. So thank you for listening to this news. So viewers, what is your take on this news? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.